This is Paul Nguyen from Blue Hour Photo Ventures, and I'm going to teach you how to use Sun Surveyor's 3D Compass View. When you open up Sun Surveyor initially, click on the menu bar at the top left, which opens up the list of modules within the app. Choose the first one in the list, which is the 3D Compass. You'll see the Compass View on the screen, which tilts as you tilt your device, so you can use the compass like you would a traditional analog compass, or more like a 3D representation of yourself on the ground. The green pin represents your current position, while the red dot represents where you're facing, or your bearing. The number up here tells you your bearing in degrees, with 0 degrees being directly north, 90 degrees being east, and so on. True means that the numerical values are based on true north, or north on a map, while the number in parentheses is telling the offset, or the difference between true north and magnetic north. Magnetic north is north based on the magnetic field of the Earth, which is what traditional analog compasses point towards. If you'd like to switch the compass view to indicate numbers based off of magnetic north like a traditional compass, you can go into Settings, and deselect the option North is True North. And now the compass will indicate values based on magnetic north. Regardless of the setting, the objects shown on the compass will be in their correct places relative to where you're standing. To make use of the more detailed features of the compass, be sure you've properly chosen your location, which I explained in the overview video. By selecting different items in the info panel, you can show useful bits of information about your location. Selecting the sun panel brings up a visualization of the sun in the sky right now, and the path that the sun takes through the sky on this particular day, and the path is marked with where the sun was or will be at every hour of the day. You can travel forward or back in time by moving the timeline at the bottom. And you'll see how, as I do this, the position of the sun changes as you travel in time. I explained the timeline in greater detail in the overview video. And clicking on the refresh icon brings you back to the present moment. If you look at the sun, sunrise, and sunset panels, you'll see that each has a specific color, yellow, orange, or red, and these colors will correspond with the information shown in the compass itself. The yellow line points to the direction of the sun relative to you right now. The orange line points to the direction where the sun rose this morning, and the red line points to where the sun will set this evening. You can choose to turn off the sunrise and set direction by clicking on their panel. The same kind of information can be displayed about the moon by clicking on the moon panel. Since the moon isn't up in the sky right now, I can advance the timeline to tonight and you'll see the moon come up in the sky and follow along its predicted path. You can even bring up information about the predicted path of the Milky Way by scrolling through the info panels until you get to the Milky Way Center info panel and clicking on that. Obviously, as you start to show overlapping layers of information on the compass, the view can get pretty cluttered. So you can deselect certain items on the info panel to remove their visualizations.